Hey everyone! Looks like it's working better than it did last week! <laughs> okay, just a moment please. Let me open up my second window of joy. Um, yeah, uh, my voice is a little bit uh, froggy today. Just a moment. Oh, it's saying to please stand by. It hasn't gotten the memo that it started yet. Okay. We'll hang on then. It's showing up in subscription boxes. That's a good thing. Oh, it still says please stand by. All right, we'll just keep refreshing that page on and off. But um, hopefully you can see me and everything's going well for you today. Um, it's already June, my goodness hard to believe let me there we go um, so yeah my throat is uh, is really not feeling too bad all around like I'm still you know blowing my nose quite a bit it seems like but um, really I I don't feel too bad it's just my voice really kind of got overworked I think in the past few days um, so it's it's definitely kind of hoarse. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Gosh, everybody's here. We got Ginger and La Mafia Bella and Mariah and Taser and Colby and Jamie and Daniela. Woohoo! Awesome. It's a party. <laughs> you want to know how I did my hair today? Well, I went to bed with it in a ponytail and I took it down and then I just took my when the replenishing mist and I spritzed it all over and I made like those kind of those waves that were happening into more of a just a little more uh, defined looking I guess you'd say so yeah I'm drinking some coffee I actually Tyler got me some Mick Cafe. I've got a breakfast burrito waiting for me. <laughs> Someone attempted suicide outside the Today Show today? Wow. That, I did not hear about that. I actually just switched over to the Today Show. Um, it's playing with no volume right now, so. Tea. Yeah, I have been drinking a lot of tea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Australia, Serbia, Turkey. Wow. It's an international party today. <laughs> Cincinnati, and it's pouring outside, says Lacey Keith. Oh, wow. We got first timers here. Isn't it exciting how there's, there's always some first timers every time? I love that. Love it, love it. Well, um, on the topic, on the on the topic, on the agenda today, and uh, by the way, this shirt, I forgot I didn't like it a lot because it gaps, like, <laughs> tremendously. Um, but I have um, some Shop My Stash updates for you. It was Shop My Stash Lip Gloss Edition here recently. So um, my makeup look is actually a lot more exciting than it probably looks. There's some ba major purple going on here, and I was inspired by my Avon catalog, so um, that, that'll be something, and I just got a few new products to talk about here and there, so um, yay! Good morning, everybody! Yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate the throat does not hurt. It's just scratchy, just from, you know, coughing and talking and... Um, is it weird just talking to a camera with no responses? Well, at least I have the comments rolling over here. <laughs> but I've kind of gotten used. Hashtag sexy voice. Thank you. That may just be the hashtag of the week. <laughs> um, but uh, I've gotten used to over the past, uh, how many years have I been doing this? <laughs> talking to a camera, no responses. I just wait till the video goes up and then I get all the responses. <laughs> And chipmunking will happen too, of course. Um, 
I got a fun visit this past weekend. Um, actually, I went to my sister's. We had a little family get together there, and uh, someone else who was there is a friend of of mine and a friend of Pups, and that's David, who is the Estee Lauder makeup artist I've spoke of uh, spoken of before. He works at Bergdorf Goodman in New York. He's big time. He knows the celebrities. He is like you know awesome, and it was really fun just getting to talk to him and I blogged about this a little bit but you know we just got to talk makeup and it's it's fun because he is just as kind of across the board makeup obsessed as I am so he's you know totally in tune with all the drugstore stuff and he gave me some ideas it's Daniela's first time by the way she's sneaking in at work <laughs> um, but he gave me some ideas of things I'd never tried from the drugstore that have been around in the drugstore for a long time so I hope you guys are excited about this video idea as I am I'm calling it hidden gems of the drugstore and it's gonna be coming in a few days and it's just gonna be about you know some of those things that you just don't think about in the drugstore or at least are new to me and that I hadn't thought about trying yes I'm missing one <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways uh, it's gonna be coming and I am really really pumped about it meanwhile though today and I am relaunching my little other window here um, but today we have the best in beauty for the month of May coming to you so that'll be later today I shot that video yesterday my voice sounds about like it does right now <laughs> so uh, <laughs> my voice my laugh sounds so dorky um, I'm calling it oops uh, but uh, oh we got Casey watching from Birmingham Alabama I was just near Birmingham a couple weeks ago oh yeah awesome and I may be blotting my nose from time to time Woo! Oh, it's Steph has a prom today. Wow. Well, it's that's exciting. Um, I would say if you have prom, you want long wearing makeup that's gonna look good in pictures in flash photography and so I really think you should check out my bridal video actually um, I mean I feel like you could probably have a lot more fun with the eye makeup I mean that was something I loved about prom was actually um, really like jazzing up the eyes more than I ever would for like a day at school and kind of coordinating with the dress and everything but as far as face makeup long wearing makeup recommendations and stuff like that I really think the bridal video and, and stuff that, that does come off nicely in the pictures I would refer you to the bridal video um, did you change up your organization behind you um, a while ago probably in, in January I, I did um, because some of you remembered that I had like the little blinged out uh, storage containers that I put the gems on and actually have some of them down low here so these are some different containers yeah I'm, Sandra says I'm not late to my first college class at all oh <coughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make that Hidden Gems of the Drugstore thing kind of a, you know, a, a new series if possible. Um, but it's just it's just kind of my haul of things David recommended to me that are kind of under the radar products. But I know there's going to be some people who are going to be like, oh, I know about that, and that's that's one of the best things, and, and that's cool. Um, so just don't take it too literally. Like, and also these aren't like literally hidden in aisle five. You know, like these are these are just products that I think have gone for me um, have gone you know a little bit unnoticed. No particular reason why, except that maybe I think we end up. Um, gravitating toward all those new collections that come out and sometimes we don't dig into the depths of what's already there in certain brands that just doesn't get talked about a lot so
I was thinking I might um, do a blog about this look. It's got kind of a thick lower purple liner, and I'll show you what my um, my inspiration was. Actually, I just recently a lady in my area started dropping off the Avon catalogs to my house, which I'm excited about. I remember these from childhood, like pouring over these, and it is so funny how like they have a lot of the same. Uh, you can get a word in Tisha Fairy Tale. I could see you. I'm watching you. <laughs> um, but I used to look at these all the time, and they had like toys, and they had like they're like they've still got the same like lip balms in here, and the same um, what else? Skin so soft, you know, like Avon. There's an example of a brand who really holds on to their products, but. I ran across this look in the catalog and I thought this is so beautiful. I loved this look. Love it. Oh, like, I mean, and they're, they're selling these eye duos and I think she's wearing this eye duo. And I didn't go quite as yellow, but I did go like kind of a light gold and I probably could have gotten my lower shadow a little more smudgy but all in all I just think that's beautiful I love that so anyway <laughs> well that <coughs> that was my inspiration for going a little bit with like a thick um, purple underneath so I guess I'll tell you how I did it do you want to know is it time to tell um okay it's happening. Um, for the eyes, okay, I used um, some e.l.f. singles. I got some new, you sound like Joan Rivers. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, no, it's not raining here right now. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, hashtag of the week, sexy voice, hashtag Joan Rivers voice. Those are the top two in the running right now, I think. But, um, okay, I've gotten lots and lots of requests for updated e.l.f. favorites. Ever since that video about the moisture stick, um, people have been saying, you know, you did this years ago, you need to update. So, I agree. I got some new e.l.f. things, and that's kind of under consideration right now. I could do a haul on the new things if you, if you like as well. Um, but one of the things is this single in Sunset. So this is kind of my golden, it's like a peachy golden shade. And so I use that all over the lid. And you know how like the model had a, like a lot of yellow um, up under the brow. And I didn't know if I could pull that off because I've got so much space in here. So it would be a lot of, um, it would be a lot of yellow uh, taking over my face. But I just lightly dusted this from like lid up to the brow. Got a little bit lighter as I got closer to the brow. But that's a very pretty color. I already had this shade called Pebble. And so I just used this to define the crease a little bit. This is not a heavy, um, not a heavy crease going on here. And then for my lower lash line, I used the NYX liner in Purple Blaze. Gorgeous purple. Um, this was in my dupes video. And I took that all the way under. I extended it up just a little bit. This is, I don't know if you can see what's happening there. Um, but it just kind of extended up slightly. And then I set it with, brace yourselves, brace yourselves, bam! <laughs> Look at this. This is Purple Passion. This is a newer shade to the Elf Singles line. It's intense, and so that's what I set that with, and I got kind of a smudgy look, and that's pretty much what happened. <coughs> Ooh, I had a hard time getting up today. I was feeling better yesterday than I was today, um, maybe because I didn't take any uh, cold medicine before I went to bed, um, and I woke up looking haggard. <laughs> You had, let me tell you, I had puffiness in the eye area, like bad, and just wanted to stay in, in the bed. Not that I didn't want to do this, but I wanted to like do this, but bypass the whole getting ready. <laughs> just show up at 9 a.m. just looking, looking good. Nope. Okay. Oh! Hey, Sarah Licious Deaf, Sarah Licious Deaf is watching from Western Illinois University, very close to my hometown. Whoop whoop. 
I almost went to Western, home of the Leathernecks. Okay. Uh, Jamie says Comcast hates her. Uh, our new drugstore, many new drugstore mascaras worth purchasing. Well, that segues us right into my next topic. And there have been so many walkers, so many walkers out this morning. It's so cute. Like duos, duos of ladies out walking. Um, I got this one. The Falsies Big Eyes. All right, so what they did is they give you a regular size mascara wand. I don't even hardly remember what the Falsies wand was like. It's been a while since I used it. But I'm guessing that that's maybe like the Falsies regular wand. Jump in if you know that to be the case. Sorry. That probably like grosses somebody out, and I'm sorry, but... I could not be here if I couldn't rub my nose. <laughs> and then the other side, guys, is for your lower lashes. What does that look like? Anyone? Anyone? Lash Discovery. It's not exactly like the Lash Discovery one, but it's pretty darn close, and it's definitely close size-wise. I was so excited to use this. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing uh, the number 53 false lash as well from Salon Perfect. but. Uh, Okay, there we go. Pretty much the same size, everybody. So that's exciting, you know, two and one. You're only paying for one mascara and you get two different wands. And I love using that Lash Discovery wand on the lower lashes. This functions pretty much the same way. Um, now, when I was in the depths of my cold on Saturday, and I was talking to David about it, uh, like my makeup mentor, <laughs> whether or not he knows that he's my makeup mentor, but um, I was telling him like, oh, I thought this was going to be the exact same thing as Lash Discovery, but it, I feel like it smudged a little bit. And he's like, don't judge it today. You've got a cold. And I'm like, you're right. My eyes have been a little bit watery and a little bit of probably rubbing them some and it got a little smudgy. But for the past uh, couple of days, I have been wearing this, and I've not had any smudges. And I've still had somewhat of a cold, but I've been pretty aware not to rub, and I haven't been quite as watery. So I'm not sure that it's the same formula as Lash Discovery, but it seems to be lasting pretty well. Um, so I think this is a cool innovation. Um, you might remember if you watched my Estee Lauder One Brand look, now, Estee Lauder came out with one of these kinds of uh, mascaras, and it had a littler end for the lower lashes, and it also gave you a brown mascara for the lower lashes to give you the look of, you know, not closing your eyes in at all. And I thought that was really cool. So I think this is neat that they came out with that. Oh, my gosh. This is so delayed. Everybody's talking about the purple, the way that purple shadow is. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm going to refresh that page because I feel like things are a little behind. But um, questions about the lips. The, uh, I wasn't sure what to do with the lips with this. Uh, I think whoops. this is a cool. Um, I wasn't sure what to do with the lips. So I just took a pinkish lip liner. This is called Nude Pink from NYX. By the way, these lip liners claim to be waterproof. No, I don't wear false lashes every day. Um, I just kind of looked at this look in the end, and I thought I needed more balance. Um, well, I really wasn't planning to do it, but I, I had this, and maybe you would notice it more if you were looking at me in person, but I've got this thick line of purple down here, and I felt like I needed some more fringe up top. And if you look at the look that I was inspired by and the look that I really liked, she's got some mega lash going up there on the upper lashes. So, um, anyway, I just, sometimes I see it as a sense of balance and, and just doing it that way. Um, but... These NYX retractable waterproof lip liners are really good. And I got a set of these when they were on Hot Look recently. And I got like um, one that was called Citrus. It's kind of like a light peach. Um, I got some deeper colors. This one called Nude Pink. I mean, it's not nude. It's very pink. It's kind of like... Um, Baby Berry from Jordana. But these last and last um, and creamy. Great. Love them. Highly recommend. And so I did that. 
and then I oh I put on this over the top this is healthy peach from the shop my stash lip gloss so I don't know why I thought to put those two together but it just gives it a little shine this is a pretty sheer gloss you want to know another insight from David? Uh, no, I have not sunless tan for about two weeks. I just being sick and stuff. I've just wanted to. As soon as I hop out of the shower, I've wanted to like put on my pajamas, get under a blanket, and not wait for anything to dry first. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, David was telling me he's like so. I notice sometimes in your videos you will take put a lipstick on and then you will put a lip gloss directly over the top of it from the tube and I'm like yeah I do that <laughs> and then he's like you know you're probably getting color on the wand and then putting it back in right and I'm like yeah you've got a good point there and so he's like when you do your lip gloss and I'm so on board with this idea like okay when I went over this Take some out, put it on your hand first, put it on your finger, dab, 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 dab. Right? Makes more sense. Because with some lipsticks, you're definitely picking up the color on that applicator. Right? Anyways. Gosh. That man is a wealth of knowledge. Wealth of knowledge. Um, uh... Chanel Callie, I can, see, I can see your comment. Why aren't my comments updating? Hi from Chile. Francisca. What a fun name. Hi everybody who's just tuning in. <laughs> Hashtag Joan Rivers voice. Oh, I'm going to take a drink here. Ah, oh, that feels good going down. Maybelline Color Whispers or Revlon Lip Butters? Well, I like them both. Uh, I think I think I've done a comparison. If you search search Color Whispers on BeautyBroadcast.net, and you'll see a a uh, mention of this in the post about Color Whispers. But uh, Color Whispers, I feel like, are very buildable. Um, you put on one swipe, they look one way. You put on another swipe, the color builds up. With the lip butters, I feel like they're more intense, and, and kind of what you see is what you get. Um, like when you take one of those, you take red velvet, or you take sweet tart, or <coughs> excuse me, you take one of those shades and you lay it on your lips, it has an intense look and there's no bones about it that's the way it's going to be um, I like the feel of them both I think color whispers probably feel a little bit lighter um, but I really enjoy them both and uh, I, I have shades that I like from both um, as a whole I probably have more lip butters just because they've been around longer so will David be in a future video okay I that was when I should have shot something when I was there um, visiting at my sister's, but I, I, I just was so like not feeling like I was actually running a fever that day. <laughs> so um, it's okay, Sophia. You know what we say: if you're late to the show, you just got to go to the secretary's office and get a tardy slip. <laughs> then you can come back. <laughs> Yeah, Bahar says I, uh, about the lip gloss thing. I love using the wand. The finger doesn't put on enough product. Yeah, and if I'm just putting on a lip gloss, you know, I'll use the wand. Um, but it makes sense to me that topping off a lipstick, you kind of corrupt the wand a little bit when you touch it to the, to the product. Hi, South Carolina. Beth from Louisiana is here too. Georgia. Indy. Awesome. Love it. Love the variety. Oh, okay. So, you know how I like, like, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and whatever other eye primers I ever talk about? Well, uh, for the past couple weeks, I've been thinking, 
what if that e.l.f. one dollar eye primer that I used for the twenty dollar makeup challenge and haven't really messed with too much since is just as good and I've been using it a lot this e.l.f. just the one dollar kind eyelid primer and you know what I can't notice any darn difference this is making my eye makeup last just as long as everything else is that just me tell me your thoughts Oh, thank you. Ginger likes the purple shirt. Even though the purple shirt wants to creep open <laughs> and gap open. It's, it's one of those old navy ones. It's got these like fake buttons all the way up here, but you could never button it up. So it just gaps. Uh, what foundation? I use the Tarte Maracuja because I feel like all the, the cold and the nose blowing has made me so dry around here. And I'm still, you can see the redness a little bit from blowing my nose and whatnot, but um, that Tarte Maracuja foundation is very um, replenishing, I feel like, and it's yet it's very long wearing too. Oh, yeah, DR Makeup Girl says she will, uh, if she's going to use lip gloss over lipstick, she'll wipe the end off on a tissue before she puts it back in the container. Good call. Sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, do you feel like, I need like, here's what I need. I need like one of those tables, like the idle judges or something, and this just sits right up here in the shot the entire time. <laughs> Sponsored by McDonald's. People could have a heyday with that, couldn't they? <clears throat> Miss Raina says, sometimes I like the way it slightly alters the lip gloss after you apply it. You know, you, you may be creating your own special shade. I get that. Kim Eastwood says, sorry for being tardy to the party. Hope you're feeling better. Hi from Ohio. Hi, Kim. Just go to the secretary's office, get yourself a tardy slip. That Don't be tardy to the party. That reminds me of Kim, Zol Kim Zolciak. Yeah. I still, I watch that show, Don't Be Tardy. She cracks me up. I can see why some people would think she could be obnoxious or whatever, but she absolutely kills me. She makes me laugh a lot. Uh, the brand with this mascara with the double end, this was Maybelline. You may see it in like a special display, in a, like end of an aisle perhaps in your drugstore your Walmart, wherever. Big eyes is what it's called. Upper lashes and lower lashes in one. I dig it. If you don't, if you didn't want to commit to buying a whole lash discovery or something, you can try it basically in this. <clears throat> Vicky Hart's makeup. Yes, I do have a holy grail product to spot treat. A zit. It's this. I love this. I've used this for years. My sister has used this for years. Clean and clear Persa gel. Little dot on your on your breakout. Dries it up like that. Maybe not quite that fast, but pretty fast. <laughs> Ploopy Tail Ploopy Tail Jr., who has a ridiculously awesome name, says, Great, now I'll have wand usage guilt. <laughs> How do you know David? Okay, David, who is this makeup artist extraordinaire from NYC, actually he's originally from Illinois, so there was that connection, but he discovered my videos mm, probably a couple years ago, and we just kind of got in touch on Facebook and chatted back and forth, and he also got to know my sister, and they're about the same age, so they have a lot in common too, and... Um, and so when he was going, basically he was kind of coming back home to the area. And so we had a little visit. Um, but David, his name's David, and he's a makeup artist, actual makeup artist with Estee Lauder in New York City. And um, he's just, uh, he's not purely like a, like um, his brand is the only brand, you know, he doesn't talk like that. He's he's just obsessed with trying stuff from the drugstore like I am and we just went back and forth until like well after midnight on set this past Saturday night hence probably why my voice is how it is 
because I was very sick at the time, but I couldn't shut up about makeup, and neither could he. <laughs> we love it. Like, I mean, it, it's just, it's kind of like I don't have any a lot of people in my life. Like, I'm sure if any of you stopped by my house, we could talk makeup till doomsday. You know, like, we, we could keep it going, but uh, none of you happen to be living next door. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, we did just come up with our own makeup town. Yeah, here's another crazy idea like the makeup party bus. We need to come up with our own makeup town. And we'll have like city council meetings, but they'll be just all about talking makeup. Okay, uh, DR Makeup Girl says, I think the e.l.f. primer works as well as the Too Faced or UD primers for me. You know? What's up? I think it's working great. I'm going to keep it up, though. This is going to be under intense scrutiny for still a while because I... I mean, I know I've, I've always thought, you know, there's nothing wrong with drugstore makeup, but the price difference from this to this is pretty extreme, right? So this ends up working just as well. I'm feeling good about that. Um, and I do like this Fergie kind, too. The only thing about this is uh, I feel like when it's, it can squeeze out with a little bit of liquid sometimes, if, especially if you haven't used it in a while. So I have to shake it up. This I don't really have to do that with. It has keeps very consistent consistency. Ah, consistent consistency. What? Okay. Enough horse play here. <laughs> Use handkerchiefs and your nose won't get sore. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Also, the Kleenexes. I don't have them right now. I'm using the antiviral Kleenex right now. But another great kind is the Kleenex, um, the cooling Kleenex. One of my old co-workers, uh, when I had a cold a couple years ago, more less than that. Uh, anyway, she brought me a box of those, and she's like, these will change your world. And they did. They feel cool. They feel amazing. Like, you just kind of want to rub it on your face. That was weird, but it's true. Yes, I saw The Great Gatsby. Oh, my God. I love The Great Gatsby. Loved it. Saw it a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it was just awesome. I need to blow my nose. Do you mind if I turn around and do that? This is odd. Okay. I think I just wiped off all the makeup that once existed on my nose. <laughs> um, I, I used to kind of watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey, but I haven't recently. I, th I think Kim is just a hoot. Like, and uh, I like Croy, too. Croy kind of reminds me of Tyler a little bit. <laughs> Oh, thank you. My eyebrows, I think, are sometimes a polarizing issue. Some people can't handle them. Some people cannot handle these brows. They, they want to be thick. Honestly, like if we did a little experiment and I never plucked my brows for two months, you know what would happen? They would be about this thick and this would be a unibrow. I have to tweeze everything in here every single day. Everything in here. And they just, like, there's just naturally a lot of thickness in there. It's like, I let one thing on my face go a little bit natural. <laughs> oh. Do you buy most of your e.l.f. products at Target or online? Asks Robin. Um, Robin, I find, I, I would say most of it I get on the website. Just because I'll do, I'll make an order. I rarely do I do like a small order from the website. I like to, you know, take advantage of the deal. Like the last thing I did, I think it was like all like 33% off or something. It was a Memorial Day deal. And I just feel like, excuse me, yes, Mariah, CoverGirl 3-in-1 is good for oily skin. I think so. 
Um, but I just feel compelled to, when I order from the website, to try a lot. And that's where the full selection is. And then when I go to my Target, it's like, maybe it's just my Target. But Baker? She's hearing birds outside and scratching at the door. Um, <laughs> but when I go to Target, I feel like it's only very, it's, it's very partial, um, what they have. Any plans to make the BB community more active? Um, well, there, there's been an issue I've been dealing with that I haven't really talked about much on the BB community, but um, spammers, spam accounts getting in there, and I don't quite, I've been researching how to fix it, but it's been something I've had to maintain daily and kick spam accounts out. And I kind of want to, you know, talk about beauty broadcast community in a video and, and, and you know, chat about it more and, and do that. But I kind of want to get a handle on the spammers first. Uh, I moved to Make Up Town. <laughs> Beautyville. Nice. Um, but I, I guess I just would love to have that more fixed and more, I have more of a handle on that. But as far as what beauty broadcast community can do, um, I mean, there are a few features that can be added in, but basically I wanted it to be a forum site, and I like the chat feature. Um, so I, uh, and I was talking about the ELF $1 primer, not the $3 one, FYI. Somebody asked. I just refreshed that page, so I didn't uh, quite catch it. Um, Okay, uh, but so anyway, Beauty Broadcast Community is a great place to go to uh, use the forums to share your own material and stuff. And yeah, I will try to do more with it once I feel like I uh, spammers. I would say, I would say this: the spammers have been going downhill uh, because basically, when I delete a spammer, it blocks the IP address from creating another account. You know what I mean? So the more IP addresses I block, that same IP address cannot come back with just a new account. So that's um, that's something that I'm working on. And I, I knew when that was created that it would be a bit of a work in progress for a while and almost kind of like a trial thing for a little while until I, you know, I, I want everything to really be good before really pressing it out there, if that makes sense. Um, hi from St. Louis. Wondering if you were affected by the storms this past week. Yes. Um, well, we did not have damage, thank goodness, but uh, a storm rolled through Friday night at around 1 in the morning. Um, there was, n amazingly, no severe thunderstorm warning out, which I was shocked by because these were probably the worst winds we've seen all season here. Like my tree out front, I mean, I could see by the lightning. There was continuous lightning. So it was like lighting up, and I could see what the trees were doing outside. And, like, our tree out front was, like, bending. It's not a real big tree. So I was like, oh, don't take my tree. Um, but I'm, I'm just thinking about how, you know, like, parts of our uh, – we had a storm at one point that took down part of our, like, trim on our house. And I'm just thinking, oh, no, I don't want to deal with that again. But um, – we didn't end up with any damage, but the winds were howling, and they did take down some sort of a power line because we lost power for 10 hours and had to kind of do away with a lot of stuff in our refrigerator. Um, so that was the only thing and was, was the power outage. But and amazingly, like, and I look around neighbors' houses, not dam they weren't damaged either that I can see, so... Oh, Gams, Gams 2003 is watching for the first time, and she loves it. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Gams. So were you named Gams because you, uh, because of your legs? <laughs> or is that just some other kind of nickname? Baker, stop. Oh, sorry. She's, she's creating nails on a chalkboard type sounds in there. What do you say? I just bring her in and make her say hello, and maybe she'll forget about whatever she was doing. Okay, be right back. Becky.
We're going to say hello. She's going a little bit crazy. Hi, sweetheart. We sat together for a long time last night. Yes. When you bounce her, she doesn't want to jump out as soon. <laughs> Can you maybe look at the at the camera? Oh, that's cute. You're a little model, aren't you? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, bye. Check you later. Uh, you know what I don't like? When people say, smell you later. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Can Cupcake like my dog's page, please? Forever Luna and Lucky. You may have to remind me about that. <laughs> Next week you should do Throwback Thursday. How so? Oh, just tried Essence Mascara in the pink tube, and it rocks. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, I was going to recap the Shop My Stash. It was all about lip gloss this week because I wasn't using lip gloss enough. I have been using the lip balms and the, you know, the, the one-step kind of lipstick type items. I haven't been using the gloss as much, so I thought I'd just recap for you what I had. Um, and I have swatches on my blog. If you want to open up a window and open up my blog, beautybroadcast.net, you can see the swatch. Um, but it's the NYX Extreme Lip Cream in Natural. Um, I really like this for a, why am I holding this over here? For this nude lip. This makes a very nice nude lip, I think. And it's, it's definitely like a liquid lipstick type thing. It's not sheer. It's color. Cross the board color. So I like that. Um, matte Dazzle Glass and Sugar Rimmed. I've had this for a while, not getting enough use. It's like a sparkly, glossy kind of top coat for your lips. Um, so I'm going to do this and do this. It's very, like, iridescent, I think. So I've got that top coat on. Um, but that could work on top of so many lip products. So it's kind of a wonder why I haven't reached for that more. Um, but yeah, that needs, especially for what I paid for that, that needs to be getting used. <laughs> um, one of my favorite Tarte Maracuja glosses is in Blissful. It's this pretty corally, orangey color. Um, I'm wearing this in a face of the day on the blog, actually. And this is... Uh, this is really nice. It's it's nicely colorful. One thing you want to keep in mind is that these have a certain amount of stickiness to them. I don't really mind it because I feel like it lasts a while on the lips. And uh, I don't feel like it makes my lips kind of peel off like some things do, which is weird, but it happens. And uh, so I really, that's probably my pick, my choice color of that line is blissful. Um, let's see. These are pretty good. Um, these uh, luscious liquid lipsticks from e.l.f. I had a couple of shades. Um, this baby lips one is a little bit nude, but a little bit sheer, so I, I didn't see that as a real must-have. But this one in pink lemonade is a really pretty berry shade. Again, it's got a little bit of sheerness to it, but this one packs a, quite, a, quite a color punch for what it is, like a $1 product on the e.l.f. website. Um, falling back in love with the Neutrogena Moisture Shine Glosses. I mentioned that I was wearing this one earlier. Healthy Peach uh, Berry Fit, which is a very opaque, pretty, classic, berry creamy lip gloss. Comes from this line that won an Emily Award, Best Berry Gloss, I think. Um, my sister and I really loved these years ago. Do you remember when they had kind of a tan or beige colored cap? Anybody remember that? Um, we loved them, and then kind of I got away from them for a while, and, and they repackaged them since, and so I, I do like that. They've got a very uh, comfortable texture, remind me a little bit of like Revlon Super Lustrous lip glosses with that texture. Um, Lancome Juicy Tubes. I've got a bunch of these in little sizes. This shade is Sweetheart, and I, uh, 
I find them kind of sticky and most of them kind of sheer. So, I don't know. This one, this shade is pretty. It's got a very pretty sparkle. See how pretty that sparkliness is in there? But I don't, I don't know. I haven't tried enough of these where I actually thought, wow, amazing color. They're all so sheer. Lastly, Mally, uh, this is my uh, High Shine Liquid Lipstick, and the shade is Orchid. At one point, I thought this was too purpley for me, and it's, it shows up in person a little more purpley than it is on this camera, but um, it, uh, it's pretty. It, I, I can pull this one off. In fact, let's, let's put it on. Let's get, throw that away. Feel bad I'm using one of my fancy Kleenexes to blot off my lips. What happened to the birds? Well, the birds are not, they're not in their nest anymore, but they're probably too big, right? I mean, we've got a ton of robins around, but I'm not sure, I, the, the birds don't like chill in the nest anymore. And the nest is still in the tree. Even throughout the storms and everything, the nest is still exactly where it was before. But I don't, I rarely see them coming back. I don't know what happened. Okay, so this is orchid. And see how it's not quite as purpley as I thought it was going to be? It's actually a really freaking pretty color. Enjoy. I enjoy that shade. Smooth brush tip. I dig. So that was what I shopped from my stash recently and <coughs> got some use out of in the past week that I wasn't using much otherwise. Um, so yeah, the birds the birds were getting bigger, um, but they just kind of, I guess, left the nest, empty nest syndrome, I don't know. <laughs> um, are, are you sick? Yes. Uh, I'm getting over a cold, so I'm not like feeling that bad really, but my voice is just lagging behind. You'll hear it in my video today too. Um, I watched the CMA Awards last night. I, I started in on it when Darius Rucker came on. I didn't even know it was going to be on, and I was so glad I didn't miss his performance of Wagon Wheel. I loved it, and Lady Annabellum was there, like, backing him up. Um, he That voice, my goodness, amazing. And then I loved how Luke Bryan performed from the stage, um, and the stage is a like a country music bar there on Broadway in Nashville and I've been there and so Tyler and I were watching we're like ah we've been there we've been like <laughs> like they got like kind of the mural stuff on the walls and that that was that's such a fun place to go if you're ever in Nashville and I thought it was really cool that um, he was performing from there I'm sorry about the big lag on comments. There's like nothing I can do about that. But um, I, I refresh periodically so the comments can get a little bit more caught up. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the show. Uh, I saw Florida Georgia Line perform, which we of course went to their concert a couple weeks ago. And uh, that was awesome. It's like they were in Southern Illinois. I was going to hear him say, like, we love you, Southern Illinois, at the end or something. Uh, um, how do you feel about baby lips? Um, I like them. I like some more than others. Like, some of the limited edition ones were really sheer. I think there was a shade called Twinkle. I was like, where's the Twinkle? It doesn't show up. Um, but I like the um, peachy shade. And I like, I'll show you the shades I really think are my favorites. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one. And they've got some kinds that aren't supposed to have any color, which are still nice. Um, I 
Okay. I like my top two favorites are probably these two from the baby lips. This red love. Love that. Get that if you want. Uh, if you're scared of red lips, scared of how intense a red lipstick looks on you, this will be a little more sheer, but it gives you that like popsicle stained lip. I love it. It's called um, Cherry Me. That one's great. And then uh, the nude lip lovers would like Peach Kiss. Pretty. Pretty, kind of shiny. Um, it's, it's not going to totally nude out your lips, but it gives them kind of a peachy, glowy sort of look. I like it. I mean, I, I like it. If, you, if you're going for um, like a barely there lip kind of day, feels nice too. The pink is good. I don't find myself wearing this very much because I feel like when I want to go there with my lips, I just take a lipstick. But this, this pink is nice. It will give you color. That was actually the first one I got, I think. And then, um, as for the clear, gosh, I've used up a lot of this one. Um, this one is quenched. And even I can still pick up the fact with my plug that knows that, that smells just like fruity pebbles. So, get you some of that. Um, one of the limited edition ones, I don't know if this became permanent, still limited edition. Melon Mania was nice. Compared to this one, kind of similar, a little more coral. So, anyway, that's the story of baby lips. <laughs> Do you watch Jersey Licious? Um, I've seen a few episodes. Darius Rucker has been on one of my husband's flights before. Ginger, that is awesome. He just, I mean, I've been watching The Voice, and you know how the Swan Brothers, that brother duo, sang Wagon Wheel, and I wanted to like it, but I thought it seemed a little too, like, happy, peppy, like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> like, I just, nothing can compare to, you know, the way Darius Rucker sings it, um, Sarah Stone says, one of my friends from college knows your husband. Really? That's cool. That's very neat. Hi, Tanya. God, it's almost 10. What happened to the time? I actually remembered this was on today. <laughs> Every Thursday. Send out, I do a, try to do a reminder tweet, if I can. Oh, thank you, Giovanna. Love you, too. This is still the same polish, which I, I freak lost one, one nail. Everything else is going super strong. But this is the Oriflame brand. Um, that my sweet friend Sophia from Portugal sent me, um, and the shade is called Mint Pear, and it was from the Neo Chic line, and it's cute, and it's nice, and it's really staying on well, except for the index finger. <laughs> uh, granted, I was picking off a label. Nothing kills your nails like picking a label off of a cosmetic product, right? Is that not what messes up your nails? I could clean a bathroom. I could wash dishes. I could do everything under the sun. But then when I'm trying to pick a label off of a makeup product, the nail leaves me. I'll wait for your responses in five minutes when they catch up. <laughs> no, I'll refresh and see if I can see it now. Um, oh, I really need to blow my nose again, but I don't want to gross people out. People get grossed out by weird things sometimes that I think I'm not grossed out by, so I um, feel funny about it. You never know. I just learned how touchy people can get about stuff on YouTube. So, um, Do you do bridal makeup other than for friends? I really um, have only done friends. Uh, 
lately. Like I haven't really put myself out there as advertising my bridal services for other people. Um, and I don't know if I will in the future um, because I do, en I do enjoy it, but I'll tell you what I like more. More than doing someone's makeup for a wedding, I like actually sitting down with somebody, and I, I think I talked about doing this last week. Or did I? No, I did this last Thursday afternoon, and I don't think I got to talk to you about it, but I did like a makeup consultation with a girl from the TV station where I used to work, and um, like we just got to look through her, she brought her makeup bag, kind of dumped it out, we looked at what she had, you know, talked about what, you know, what was good, really good for TV, and what things maybe she should pick up, and then did a little demo for her on her face of, of you know, an example of a good look for TV, and it was fun, and I did a brighter lip for her than she was used to, because I think, um, you know, I gave her kind of a berry reddish lip, and it looked gorgeous, but this girl was not, she was not accustomed to it, and I could see the look on her face when she saw it, and then I was like, you know, it'll really come off well, and uh, she, she was like, I'll try. <laughs> but it's funny. It, uh, oh, you sound like Lindsay Lohan. Somebody said earlier I sound like Joan Rivers. <laughs> I think somebody within like the first minute of me being on here said the hashtag of the week is hashtag sexy voice. Do you like deep voices? I do. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if my voice permanently stayed this way, I guess. But I do sound a little congested at times. Oh my gosh, hello from Norway. It's 4 p.m. here. What up, Norway? Um, that is the origin of my uh, husband's family, Tyler's family. Um, his great-great-grandpa was from Norway, came to the United States, and settled like homestead style in northwest North Dakota and the I mean the family like has, is of Norwegian descent he was Norwegian he came over and I find that interesting because I feel like a great great grandpa you know that's not that far back you know when you think kind of down the family tree that's not that far back and that was the first person of you know his background to come and live in the United States and uh, it's interesting because the whole family, tall. Um, tell me, Dominia, if you... Um... Oh, wait, now she's saying it's 5 p.m. there. Wait, did an hour pass like that? Um, I, I would, it's hard to keep up with comments on here, but... Um, when, it, it's hard to keep up with all the comments as they come in, but I'll try to see if you can tell me. Is, are a lot of people in Norway tall with blonde hair? All of Tyler's family is that way, and a lot of people who live in North Dakota is that, are that way. If you need to bl know your, blow your nose, then just blow it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, wouldn't you need, I think Junior's saying, wouldn't you need a cosmetologist license to do makeup on others? Um, I don't think so, actually. R.C. Young says, my husband loves your normal voice. He doesn't mind me listening to you in bed. Aww! What a husband! Oh, no, I am I am not in pain. I really, my throat does not hurt one bit. My, I've just got kind of a, still a little bit of a runny nose, and um, my, it's just, you guys know, like, you get a scratchy voice. It's not necessarily that you have a sore throat. It's probably that you've talked when your throat was kind of sensitive, and you talk too much. Come to Charleston. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's nice weather here right now. It's blue skies, but I'm, I'm thinking, I thought we were supposed to have rain at some point. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Okay, I'm going to blow my nose now. Wait, I want to see if, 
You sounded more like Fran Drescher. Oh my gosh. Now, isn't she a little more high pitched? <laughs> <coughs> I tell you what, I would not miss this. I love you guys, and I love getting to do this every week. So I would not miss it. feels so weird. Um, my, I think it's so funny people think I look like Ashley Judd. I mean, that's really nice, but I'm like, wow, really? You really think that? <laughs> Radiant St. Wait, it's Radiant St. Louis right now? It's coming my way. Oh, CJ Can Candi Candidata says never been able to make beauty broadcast before. You're here now. This is the this is the new person dance. <laughs> uh, we haven't chipmunked yet, so it needs to happen. Pause up and <laughs> and then I know some of you are watching at work and you don't want to be seen chipmunking, but you need to chipmunk anyway. So here is your alternative. You scope it out. Anybody looking at me over there? Done. It counts. You get your chipmunk cred. Uh, Taser says, my mom immigrated from Germany when she was a kid, and we are totally fresh off the boat. My dad's family is all tall and blonde, and he's Finnish. Interesting. I like hearing those stories about, like, where people come from. Oh, yes, I am Norwegian descent, blonde, and almost six-foot female. My son is 6'5". Norwegians. Uh, sunny Florida. Tropical storm on the way. Oh, I heard about that. What are your thoughts on CC cream? Well, a lot like a BB cream, only some of them claim to, you know, like, amp up your, like, even out your complexion, which I haven't seen a lot of evidence of. Um, so I just... I don't know. Uh, it's all David and I discussed this at length as well. The whole BB cream, CC cream, and guess what? L'Oreal's making a DD cream. Ugh! You know, it's like they're just taking tinted moisturizers and and giving them new new claims. Oh, Elizabeth's from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, I went up to Wisconsin a lot of times for football games in college. We. Uh, Monmouth played up there a lot, a lot of Wisconsin teams. Uh, we went up to St. Norbert, up near Green Bay. We went to um, near the Milwaukee area a time or two, near Madison. Um, I, mean, I feel like I've been all over Wisconsin. Sandra Bullock, oh, thank you. Thank you. You're making this girl's day. Thank you. <laughs> Switzerland calling. Get well soon. I'll thank you. Neva. Neva is turning 40 tomorrow. Woo! -hoo! Go, Neva. Go, Neva. Oh, 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 oh. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. Why aren't you at work? I am at work. Where are you? I've been fortunate to make this my work recently, so thank you. Uh, at work chipmunking. Thank you, Laza. Don't you feel a little better after you do it? You feel like, yeah, I got by with something. Oh, my God. Hoda and Kathy Lee are talking about the CMT Awards. They just had Carrie Underwood on there. How beautiful did Carrie Underwood look? Anyone? She had on like mint a mint green shorts outfit. Look that up. 
I will like anything she wears. It's cool. And I will buy any magazine she's on. <laughs> this is better than when you show us a drawing of your bunions. Gosh, can we create a top ten of strange things I've done on Beauty Broadcast Live? If someone wants to create that, someone who's watched a lot, uh, because I can think of a few. I drew my bunions. Did a, a lot of crazy dancing. Norway, huh? That's why Tyler is so tall. No? Yes. Yes. Double letters should only be for bras. I don't need it in my makeup, too. My boyfriend will never know if I'm talking about my face or my breasts. <laughs> That's from Dutch Strawberry. Dutch Strawberry came with her personality today. That is great. That's funny. That's really good. Oh, Jamie says, today is my husband and my fourth anniversary, and I'm relaxing in my PJs all day. Woohoo! Go, Jamie. Go, Jamie. It's your anniversary. Whoop, whoop. Go get him. I don't know what that song was. Yes, Carrie did a tribute song for um, the Oklahoma victims. By the way, she donated a million dollars. How awesome is that? A million bucks to the, to the uh, relief efforts in Oklahoma. Now she's from Oklahoma, uh, but you hear about these big fundraisers that corporations are doing, like big companies, and I mean any amount donated I think is, is generous and great, but I think, you know, one more reason why I love Carrie Underwood, she donated a million freaking dollars, and I thought that was great. And yeah, her song last night was beautiful, she looked great, that dress she had on, she had her uh, husband, uh, What's his name? Um, why is his name escaping me? Mike Fisher. <laughs> Love from Allentown, PA. What's up, Pennsylvania? Hi from Houston. Have you tried the limited edition color tattoos? Um, I got a couple. I got a mint and green one. And I got like an iridescent kind of... Uh, bluish one. To be honest, I wasn't that amazed. They're pretty to look at in their packaging, but I just, I didn't see the same beautiful, like, um, effect when I put them on my eyes, so. Yeah, yeah. Emily, please see this. I see this. What up? My brother's wedding is, is this weekend, and I'm doing nails for a few girls. That sounds fun. Hello from England. I've just finished my university exams and I'm about to start a year's work placement. Eep! Ah! The biggest reason I've been looking forward to summer break is to watch Beauty Broadcast Live. Shout out to all the teachers! What's up, teachers? You do not get enough credit. Teachers need more love more money for what they do. I love you, teachers. Oh, Taser Fun. Thank you. My favorite weird BB Live moment was the Lincoln beard. That was when I did this. <laughs> and then we had when my hair, remember, my bun, like a little bit came out of my bun and it went unicorn. That was really good. Yay. Lots of people love Carrie Underwood. Hey, y'all. Wish me luck on my final in my speech class today. Almost done with college. Good for you. Little Big Town. Yes, they did an incredible rendition of the Fleetwood Mac song. And if you don't love me now. I won't try to sing today. Don't worry. Uh, what webcam are you using? It looks good. It's just whatever uh, comes on here on the good old MacBook Pro. Prissy Jean's here. You are a hoot, pumpkin. Thank you, fellow pumpkin. Um, oh, even at 50, I'm learning new makeup tips from you. Hi from Key West, Florida. Josette, you're awesome. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. This is fun, is it not? So yeah, new video coming today. New video, it would be the best in beauty. Coming a little bit late, but you know what? I don't, I don't really mind that because then, you know, everybody puts them out like right at the end of the month or right on the first part of the month, and it's kind of like, well, then mine won't come at the exact same time as everyone else's. I don't know. Your thoughts? Uh, hello from Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh, one of my favorite words, Saskatchewan. And now I will tell the story I tell whenever I hear the word Saskatchewan. I was once five miles from Saskatchewan. Because <laughs> that's where Tyler's family's from. Do you wiggle? Is that like a new way to wiggle? Is that like, like some funky way to wiggle? Ooh, 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 ooh. Shimmy? <laughs> yeah, I've been beauty noob. I've been sick for the past week. I'm not as sick as I sound, though. I'm feeling pretty good today. This makes me feel better. Whoa. Eek. I can't answer that right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we can't interrupt the broadcast unless it's my mom calling. <laughs> um, I hear a dog barking outside. About to let him sit in the garage since it's raining and the owners are ignoring him. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, Sandra. Yes, yeah, meet up in St. Louis. Yes, I will. I keep saying that over and over again, and I need to go ahead and schedule something. Oh, hey, Sophia's got a story. Sephora gave me my free benefit brow bar experience for my birthday. Full-on brow waxing and full face of makeup from uh, professional to Coralie's to blush and gloss. So cool. Good for you. That's awesome. Yay for Sophia. Sophia, Thea, Thea. Do you wiggle? Again, is wiggling... Viggling, uh, viggling, I don't know. <laughs> Teacher, yeah, I come from a family of teachers. My dad taught for a long time. The Jersey Lover says, you hate me. I hate no one. Um, no, my dad was a teacher turned principal, uh, turned regional school superintendent. My sister taught for a long time. <coughs> <coughs> I know that teachers go through a lot and don't get enough thanks and don't get enough, like, I don't know, pats on the back for what they're doing. Paige Liddell, first time from Southern Illinois. Woohoo! Paige, if I, like, went and shouted out my door, would you hear me? Because I'm in Southern Illinois, too. <laughs> Houston, Texas. I, I'm sorry, I did not come with, like, a ton of things to talk about today, so we're just talking about the comments. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I've i got a lot planned for my future videos, so I look at some of the stuff I've got sitting around, and I'm like, yeah, I want to save that for a video. Yeah, but I did talk about the eye look and the elf shadows, and if you tuned in and you missed this, i show you what's going on on my lower lash line here. Some kind of boldness, crazy boldness. No! <laughs> this is from Elf, Purple Passion. Bold as all get out. Bold as the day is long. Those are uh, Jackie quotes. <laughs> Hashtag Jackie quotes. My mom, those are things my mom would say. I am dying to get my mom to do a segment on beauty vlogcast called Oh Heavens because we'll be talking and I'll tell her something ridiculous that happened and she'll be like, Oh Heavens! And <laughs> she sounds about like that. And so I wanted to do a segment with her where she could do like one minute long rants on stuff because sometimes she'll get on topics and like 
Like, um, she hates, for example, the loud, rickety carts that you get a lot of times. If you go to Walmart or a certain grocery store, and the carts are so loud, and it's like, bump, 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 and everybody hears you going down the aisles. <laughs> and that would be like one of her, oh, heavens, and she could just rant for, a, for like a solid minute on that topic, and then I could give her another thing, and she could just go. I said, Mom, that would be hysterical, but she... She says, no, everybody will think I'm mean. <laughs> no, they won't. Do you keek? I do keek. <laughs> I do know what that is. Um, I've got two keeks up. My first keek was of my cat sleeping. Yeah, talk about an exciting keek account, right? Um, yeah, Mariah's excited for the Best in Beauty video. Whoop, whoop. Uh, what's your favorite song? My favorite song um, of all time. One of my top favorite songs of all time is probably Carrie Underwood's So Small. I won't even try singing that for you because I know my voice can't get there on a normal day, let alone a sick day. But um, it's just, I love the message. I love where her voice is able to go in that song. I wish, I mean, American Idol contestants were missing out by not singing that because that was a, that's a song with an absolute moment in it. And if you know that song, you know what I'm talking about. Um, songs I like right now. Oh my God. You know that safe and sound. You know that song? It's called Cap uh, Capital Cities. Safe and sound is the name. Safe and sound. That's how it goes. <laughs> I know that you'll be safe and sound. That okay? That song. You probably heard that, and they're thinking, "Heck no! I am not interested in that song at all." But I promise, it sounds better than the way I sang it. Um, still loving Keith Urban's little bit, little bit of everything. He performed that last night. Um, what else? That's about it right now. I mean, in terms of stuff, I'm just, like, listening to a lot. Safe and sound. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kimmy's Too Cute is a second grade teacher. Woohoo for teachers. Do you remember, like, all your teachers that you've had? Because I, I can recall every teacher I've had through every grade. Like, I can visualize them. Uh, I can tell you something about them. Like, I mean, when you're you're a young kid, it's like your teacher, your teacher is your leader, you know, like your teacher is very important. Yeah. You could try and chiggle, chipmunking and wiggling at the same time. Madison. Oh my goodness. I just scared somebody's child. Uh... <laughs> oh, the Jersey lover says, I was just kidding. <laughs> You're just kidding about me hating you? Teachers are a gift. Yes, they are. Vickle is an app, and you get points for watching TV. Thank you, Mariah. That was not at all what I was doing. So hashtag of the week is uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag Joan Rivers voice, hashtag sexy voice. Yeah, I love Blake Shelton. Love him. He's, am he's awesome. I love his personality, too, and I think that's a big part of it. You get to, when you see him on The Voice, you feel like you kind of get to know him and how he is and... He's just got got kind of a wit and just funny right off the cuff kind of thing going on. I have not listened to the Glee version of Wings. Wasting all these tears by Cassidy Pope. Oh, she's good. My favorite teacher. Oh my gosh. I had a lot of great teachers. Um I really loved Mrs. Stevenson, and she was my art teacher. 
like for a like my entire from being and may, maybe this is why where whereas you know you had a teacher for just a certain grade for art like she was my teacher from like childhood all the way up until I graduated she was the art teacher and she was just awesome and I loved art and she got me trying new things and when I had a study hall or I had like a free hour I would always go into the art room and work on something with my friend Rebecca and you know it was fun That can go in the top ten moments. Keek username is drumroll Emily Noel eighty three. What was the name of the Carrie Underwood song? So small. Sometimes no, I still can't go there. <laughs> oh heavens! Hashtag oh heavens! Hashtag sexy voice. I want to go to a bar with Blake Shelton. You and me both. Valerie Stewart, let's let's try to tweet him and, and make that happen. <laughs> he seems like he would be a lot of fun to just hang around with and shoot the breeze with. Hello from Abilene, Texas. Was born in Galesburg, Illinois. Still have family there. Oh my gosh, Galesburg, right by Monmouth, right by where I went to college. That's cool. Um uh, was your family affected by the flooding? Because wasn't Carl Sandburg College up in Galesburg totally flooded out? Illinois getting hit with the, the weather and the flooding. I just met my brother's girlfriend this past weekend, and all I could think was, man, her makeup looks great. I wonder if she watches Emily. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's very sweet. I, I I get into that too where like you'll meet somebody and just kind of start admiring their makeup. Do you have Vine? No, I don't. Should I? I take it that's an app of some kind. Are you planning on getting back to TV? Um, I'm really happy with what I'm doing now. And if Beauty Broadcast one day went to TV, that would be cool. But I love it where it's at, really, because I feel like, um, in a way, uh, the and I think I've talked about this a little bit before, but I feel like the Internet is the future of, like, broadcasting. I really think it is. And um, just even with news, you know, people don't have to wait until 5... Uh, the five o'clock news to figure out what's going on. You know, they can go online, they can Google it, they can go to the station's Facebook page or the station's website, and and chances are the story is already out there. So people don't have to wait anymore for information. So from the news sense, I think everything's going online. And I mean, also, I just feel like I would not, if I were doing what I was doing, let's say for some reason Beauty Broadcast was never online, but only on TV for some reason from the start. Um, think of all the people I wouldn't be able to reach because it would not be a global thing. Here it's global, you know. For example, hi from Italy, you know. when how That would not happen if this was not a YouTube channel. So the YouTube... Uh, expands the presence you can have and allows you to reach more people for free um, and I think that's awesome so I really um, it's a good question but I'm very content with kind of how the, how things are and I just hope that more I hope to, just hope more people find out about beauty broadcast online and um, continue to share it with their friends and family and enjoy it and, um, yeah, because I, I think Internet is where it's at, really. I mean, think of all the things that are kind of becoming prominent online, you know. Um, and it's kind of sad, like the newspaper industry, you know. It's all going to the Internet, it seems like, so. <laughs> oh. Different way, uh, can you do an eyeliner tutorial? Different ways to do eyeliner. Hello from Phoenix. Um, that would be a good idea, actually. Um, 
Because I'm thinking you've got so many different ways to do eyeliner. You've got liquids, you've got creams, pencils. Then you've got, okay, you do it in the waterline. You do smudgy, smoky liner, super precise eyeliner, winged liner. Goodness, that could turn into quite a video, couldn't it? Miss Jen has to go. Love you, Em. Thank you. Love you. Uh, custom anime art. Anim a custom animal art. <laughs> Maybe Oprah can give you your own <laughs> network channel. Hey, Oprah, I'm open. Open to the idea. Um, well, so it's about 10.30. So now's the time I want to know about you and what you've got coming up this week, what you're dealing with, what you need, positive vibes, thoughts, prayers for, because we're all in this together. We're all watching together, taking part in this together, and we're kind of like a little family here that meets on Thursdays. So we all want to know what everybody else is doing, and if it's a good thing or a bad thing, we want to be thinking about you. So let her rip. Let me know what's happening in your life. I'm going to refresh that page real quick. Refreshing. Oh, thank you, Valerie Stewart. I could hug you. And I'd really hug you, too, if you figured out a way for us to go to a bar with Blake Shelton. <laughs> Uh, sorry about the little delay here. Things are kind of frozen. Hello from San Pedro, California. Hello, hello. Uh, what is one feature you would change about yourself, or are you happy with how you look? Um, well, I think, do you ever feel like it goes on a day-to-day -day basis, where, like, one day you're like, gosh, I could go for, you know, a different nose or I could go for different eyebrows or you know like some days it just kind of varies thing to thing um, I don't know I think uh, the beauty of it all is that makeup can enhance those things you like and sort of not enhance those things you don't like so I mean I don't know I feel like I've got kind of a cheeky face and I could maybe take out some of my cheek and that would be okay with me but I'm cool with it. I've reasoned with it. I'm at peace with it. So, um, okay. Uh, doing finals here in Denmark, out of school, new job starting. Okay. It's coming in like gangbusters. Taking finals. Prayers for both of my daughters as they're having relationship problems. Um, sending positive thoughts to you. Uh, next week, my husband is heading on a motorcycle trip to the Arctic Circle. Good night. Oh my gosh. Joanne says prayers for her sweet daughter, Ella. Prayers for Ella. Love her. Um, hi from Israel. Created a page for my doggies. Um, having a rough day in regards to my future opportunities, need support and love. Graduating from nursing school this Saturday. Um, wow. Celebrating my birthday. Nice. Taser is still healing from a car accident she was in, and they're looking for a new truck. And guess what? They had flooding issues too in their basement recently. So, gosh. Singing at a GED graduation on Monday. That's Miss Raina. Woo woo! Gosh. I love you guys. You are. Oh, thinking about you. A tree fell on my house, and I now have to find a new home. That's from Melody. Prayers, please. So many things going on. My son's first birthday is tomorrow, and his party is on Sunday. Hectic weekend. Fingers crossed that it all goes smoothly. I, I hope you have a great time. Dealing with some serious pain. It's removing me from normal life. Oh, Angela. Oh. oh, thank you for loving my cheeky face. <laughs> Starting my summer class next week, that's Beth. Uh, drama T.I.'s me, dramatize me. <laughs> Need to get a summer job. 
Uh, head full of curls, is battling mental illness, but managed to get a job. Things are looking up. Good for you. Wow. Uh, Rap says, my move, my roommate is moving out, and I need to find a new one this week. Otherwise, I'm going to owe a lot of money come July. Need to get somebody in as your roommate. Awesome. Prayers from my mom, says Maggie. New job at Great America as a ride operator is starting. Send good vibes, please. That's Valerie Stewart. Oh, my goodness. Megan says her mom is battling stage 4 internal melanoma cancer. She starts an invasive treatment next week, and she's my best friend. Oh, Megan, if I could hug you right now. Oh, my gosh. Well, I just, I like to hear what everybody's doing. Graduating college, first job interview, crazy hours, college finals. Like, everybody's got a zillion things going on. And I think... A lot of times in life, we float around just in our day-to-day -day lives, very consumed with our own problems, and myself included. You know, you just kind of get in your own zone about what you're dealing with, but you lose sight of the fact that everybody's dealing with something, right? And so that's why I like to do this and talk about it and learn about you more and learn about what you're dealing with because I think everybody needs to be aware, to be more sensitive to the people that are out there in the world and be nice to everyone you come across even if they're not maybe being nice to you you know you don't know what they're dealing with behind the scenes and so I just I love you guys and I just think we can never get enough of knowing what everybody's doing and what everybody's battling in their lives and the, sometimes it's really good stuff and you need to be there for people in the good times and the bad times you know it's I know that's like a marriage vow but that's like the way we need to try to be with everybody we encounter in our lives not just our friends not just our family but the the everyday people the the clerk in the grocery store the person you know you, that you just pass by on the sidewalk like everybody needs a smile and a hug sometimes so don't forget it and thank you so much for tuning in and being with me this week I'm so sorry I sound sick I'm not as I'm not, I'm not in pain I'm not as sick as I sound but my voice is just kinda kinda a little bit funky this week so hashtag oh heavens hashtag sexy voice hashtag Joan Rivers whatever you wanna do <laughs> you guys had too many good ideas this week but um Thank you so much for all of the all of the kindness you show to me. I want to sh show it right back to you because I feel like there are a ton of really good, amazing people who are part of Beauty Broadcast, and you make it what it is. So thank you so much, and um, sending you a hug. This is my hug to you. <laughs> and I hope you have a great week have a safe weekend remember it's summertime it seems like there's more people out on the roads there's more motorcycles out on the roads check your blind spots be careful and uh, yes thank you so much yes Are there anything I need prayers for um, just getting past this cold <laughs> uh, it's really not that big of a deal right now but I mean just trying to get over that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be on the road this weekend a little bit. I'm going to my sister's art show in Quincy. If anybody's in the Quincy area, that's happening this Friday night. I posted details on my blog, but um, just hoping for safe travels, you know, and um, hoping that her art show goes well. I know she's going to be getting an award. I guess they give her the heads up that she will be receiving something, but she doesn't know exactly what. So um, I'm really happy for her. She, she deserves it. She does amazing work. And um, so kellyeddington.com if you want to see her work. Um, but thank you so much, everybody. Love you. And I will talk to you next week. And I'll talk to you also in the video coming later this afternoon. Right? So bye.